Now we're moving on to the second segment of the stream here. Quite possibly the most controversial segment. We are doing an animal tier list. Now, you might be asking yourself, what the hell is an animal tier list? We're going to be rating these animals on how likely I am to beat them in a fight. Floating Cantaloupe made this tier list. W Floating Cantaloupe. Thank you for making the tier list for me. We're going to do the tiers based on the odds that I beat them in a death match. Okay, this is hand-to-hand -hand combat, or hand-to-paw combat, hand-to-fin combat, whatever animal we're fighting. I also see Mark Zuckerberg's on the list. You know, that'll be a nice one. And the only rules for this are, number one, I would have no weapons, right? This is a hypothetical thing. I'm going to be giving, obviously, my take. You guys are going to be sharing your take on whether or not I would win or you would win in general. Like, I'm not going to have a knife in this hypothetical or a gun or anything. I'm, all, I'm, I'm in a ring in their habitat. That is the other rule. I'm fighting them where they live. Obviously, I'm a human. I'm likely more intelligent than the majority of these animals. So it would be unfair if I fought a shark on the land, right? Because they're going to fucking suffocate. They're going to die. That's what it is. Obviously, first tier, we have 0%. I'm dead. This is reserved for animals that I think I have no chance of beating in any scenario whatsoever. 20% chance of winning, right? I could get lucky. These are reserved for animals where I'm likely to lose, but there's a chance that I could beat them. 50% even match. If we fought 100 times, I would die 50, they would die 50. 75 means I'm basically guaranteed going to win this fight. Unless something really fucks up here, I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to win. And then 100% is I'm, I'm murdering this thing. I'm going to fucking kick its ass into the ground. I'm going to shove its face into the fucking dirt and curb stomp it. It's going to die so fast. It's not even going to put up a fight. Okay. First one. I don't know. Okay, we'll start with it. It's an ostrich. Its head is cut off, but you can see that it's an ostrich. Now... Ostriches are fairly tall and weigh twice as much as me. I believe the average weight... Let me look up some stats here for the ostrich. The average ostrich is anywhere between 7 and 9 feet tall, and they weigh between 250 and 300 pounds. Now, to put that in perspective for you guys rating, we'll do a little, we'll do a little rotation on the Joe Bart's fit here, uh, as well as my, uh, you know, just athletic capabilities. I'm 6'1", and I weigh 178 pounds. Can't see the quads. I have good quads. I have good quads. I need that to be noted for this match. I will be able to use my legs here. I have small calves. We're not going to show them. Now, I'm probably going to be describing some fighting strategies that I'm going to have against some of these animals. The ostrich is, you know, going to be a hard match. I, I'm going to say that I don't know how... Th my, this is my general strategy against the ostrich. The ostrich is obviously much taller than me. They don't have hands. They have wings and feet. Now, they can peck me to death and stomp me to death. But they're also a bit skittish. I think my strategy here is uh, I'm not going to be able to brute force beat this thing to death. It outweighs me. But as you can see, it has a skinny fucking neck. Ostrich's necks are not that big. I think that I'm going to fucking jump up on its back and then just fucking, you know, burn the shit out of, it, out of its fucking, out of its neck. I'm going to be rubbing its neck. I'm going to be choking it, seeing if I can kill it. Might choke its neck. How thick is an ostrich's neck? Let's look that up. They look fairly skinny, chat here. I'm I'm just I'm just thinking if I pull up an image right now, I think I kill that thing. In if I get on, if I get on and I grip, right? I do some forearm exercises for a for a few months before. Okay, that's uh, that's that's cheating. We're in my condition right now, I'm fighting them. I think I could get near the top of its head and just fucking wring its neck. It'll peck me, not if I'm on its back. I think I'd I think it's unlikely that I would win against an ostrich, but I think I would win 20% of the time. I think I could get lucky here. I think if I'm fighting an ostrich, say a hundred times I fight it to the death. I think 20 of those I'm winning. Honestly, I'd say maybe even 50. I'd say zero. It's not a zero, chat. It's not a zero. If you're telling me if I fought this thing a hundred times, I'm dying a hundred times. No. No. There's 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 at least a couple where I fucking shove his face into the dirt and I fucking kill that fucker. A bear. Now, I used to have the bad take. Okay, now this is a really bad take, so I I, I know I know it's I know it's bad, but we gotta share it. I used to think that I could kill a bear with a bowie knife. I you I that was like an honest I, I genuinely used to believe that if I was going against like a, a small, you know, mid-sized brown bear, that I could murder it if you gave me a knife. 
I don't even have a knife in this scenario. Even if I did, I think I'd die. I think if I had a small pistol, I'd still die. I watched a video of Bear's Claws. Editor, throw up an image of Bear's Claws here. They are like five inches thick and they can fucking, they would, sl it would just slash me. It would be, if I, if you put me in the woods with a bear, or even in a ring, it would be 10 seconds. It would go and just slash me one time. Doesn't even need to bite me. And I would immediately die. It would decapitate me. It might bite my head off. It might jump on me. And just the sheer weight of this thing is going to fucking kill me. Uh, so yeah, no, 0% I'm dying there. Kangaroo. Now here's where I'm a bit more confident in my capabilities here. I, I know that kangaroo, I recently found this out. Kangaroo do drown dogs for fun. I didn't know that. I had a chatter share that info with me for a while. They're kind of psychopaths. I've never met a kangaroo. I don't live in Australia. They apparently like kill animals, like domestic animals for fun. And they can like kick you to death and they're kind of natural born boxers to that i need to show you the build of a kangaroo they got really short arms they're going for the ranged kicks their legs are that's a small one these car these ones are kind of small but it's the same thing when they're bigger when they fight should we watch a video of them fighting oh i forgot they could use their tail as leeway they don't have a soft tail they have a, they have a strong tail here See, but it kind of looks like they're doing, like, a shitty high school fight where they're, like, you know, uh, they look, it's just, I, I, how tall are they? I need to look up some stats. I need to look up some stats here. Bro, their arms are so fucking short, though. I've, I, I, okay, my original strategy, if I'm honestly being real, was to, again, get behind it, but I think it's tail's gonna save it from falling over. I was thinking if I get this thing to the fucking ground, I put it in a fucking headlock. I get, I, I wedge, it's like jujitsu, dude. I don't even know jujitsu, but I've seen motherfuckers. I'm going to get that motherfucker in a splail or whatever. I'm going to wrap my arm around that fucking, that fucker's neck and I'm going to hold his fucking arms back. And it's just going to be like, it's going to be done. I think I kill it. I think I kill it to the death, to the death chat. It might be able to knock me out. How is it killing me? Is it going to stomp on me? It might knock me out a few times. But I'm going to be like Rocky, dude. I'm going to get back up. I'm going to get back up. And I'm going to go. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hear. Dun -dun -dun, and then I'm going to start fighting that fucker again. Right? It'll drown me. I don't know. Oh, my God. Imagine if a fucking kangaroo. Imagine that we actually pan this out. And there's just like a 240p video of a kangaroo just fucking holding me underwater. I'm, like, so confident here, and it's just, like, it's just, like, a shitty video. It's just, like, so far away. Somebody filming on, like, a, a fucking Nokia. It's just be drowning from a kangaroo. Dude, I'm going 50. I'm going 50. I think to the death, there's an even shot I have. I think I could bludgeon this thing with my fucking fists. Is that a crocodile or an alligator? Either way, I'm dead. I'm fighting them in their territory. We don't even need to talk about that bitch. You ever see when they death roll someone? I'm not even going to be able to kill this thing. Like, there's no strategy to kill this thing. With my bare hands, it has armor. If there's a .00001% chance I kill a bear, if it trips on its own foot and fucking passes out, and then I just beat it to death. This thing is killing me every single time I fight it. I'm never beating a crocodile. Even if I got on its back... It's just gonna, it, I, I'm just gonna sit there. And, and then eventually it's just gonna kill me. Just wanna point out, I've seen a 6'2", 200 pound man get put into a coma by a kangaroo. 20%. He's not me, right? 20%. I'll lower it a little bit. Rhino? I don't, I don't even know. A, a rhino, it's not even a debt. It's just, would I survive? Like, could I make it out in time? This isn't like a kangaroo. I'm scrapping this motherfucker to the death. The rhino, once that bell dings and he starts charging me, I just have to run. He's going to hit me with his horn, and then I'm dead, and he's going to fucking eat me. It's over for that. I feel like a rhino could outrun me. A rhino could surely outrun me. Rhinos can run 34 miles an hour. That is faster than the fastest human ever that has ever lived, Usain Bolt. What if you have a knife? 
Dude, it's a fucking rhino. I used to convince myself that I could kill like a silverback gorilla with a knife as well because I was like, oh, similar weight change, right? I have a weapon, but it's just a massive size diff. It's just a massive size diff. And at this point, it's just like, what am I going to, I'm going to stab him, then what? You give me a knife, I stab him, and he's just going to tank that shit. I think for me to kill a rhino, I would have to have a genuine assault rifle. Like, I would have to lay into that thing. It's over. A, a giraffe? It's still over. Giraffe? A lot of people are probably thinking, oh, you know, the, you might not be able to die because what is it going to do? Maybe... But they swing their heads. If you've never seen giraffe fight, they throw their necks around and whack each other in the head until one of them either dies or gives up. Oh, that was a weak hit. What are they, tired? Is this in slow motion? I've seen ones where they're putting fucking effort into this. What the hell's happening? What type of fucking giraffe fight is this? That one's got a pair on him. You see that? Jesus. Come on, put a little more effort into it. Okay, now you're making me think I could kill you. Yeah, there we go. Now they're headbutting each other. This shit's in slow-mo, but you could tell. You could tell he got that wind-up. He got that wind-up bonk right into the ass, dude. He would hit me in the head and I'd die. It'd be like getting kicked by a horse. I think I lose. Even if the reason I throw a giraffe here immediately is just because even if it doesn't kill me, like say it can't reach me with its neck, how am I going to kill a giraffe with my bare hands? That's just not going to happen. A camel, same fucking thing, dude. Size diff. Same fucking thing. A camel, like what am I going to do? Honestly, hear me out. Get up on its back, right? Because I'm assuming we're going to start fairly close to each other. I get on its back and I just sit on its neck. And then he just gets tired and dies. I, I, I just, I literally just sit on his neck until he fucking collapses from exhaustion. They're also quite passive. Yeah, I'm assuming they wouldn't really put up that much of a fight. Like, I don't think a camel would try and kill me. Are we presuming that in this scenario, the animal wants me dead? I'm not agitating it. We're both starting in we're fighting to the death. It wants to kill me. Okay. Ooh, that might move the ostrich. I really think I have a better chance to get a, against a kangaroo than an ostrich. I'm going to keep the camel at 20. Mark Zuckerberg, doesn't he know jujitsu? This is the skinwalker category. I think Mark Zuckerberg's probably going to kill me because Mark Zuckerberg knows martial arts. Yeah, I think I'm dead against Mark. Uh, doesn't he have like a black belt? Okay, Silverback Gorilla, another 100% dead. I believe Silverback Gorillas are maybe shorter than me, but they weigh a lot. They weigh 430 pounds. While it may only be five feet, they're fucking huge. Like that, bro? Oh, like what would I even do? It would be like a fist fight. You know, you know what? You know how this would pan out? He grabs me by my sides and just fucking smashes me into the ground. Just nonstop, just punch me, and it's gonna be like, ooh, ooh. And then I'm dead in like six punches. My head's gonna be flattened like a pancake. I'm dead. I need some wins here. I'm starting to get I'm starting to get discouraged. I don't have anything that I could easily be an orangutan, an orangutan. <sighs> Big arms. Kind of lanky though. Eat a lot of fruit. 100 pounds. I think I could fucking murder that thing. 100 pounds. Ooh, long arms though. Are they strong? Anybody know? Orangutan pretty built. I know they eat a lot of fruit. I think uh, I think he's kind of like what's that one Star Wars character that holds four lightsabers and he's like a robot? It's gonna be like fighting that guy, like General something, General Grievous. Yeah, it's gonna be like fighting General Grievous here. I think an orangutan's probably gonna fuck most people up in a fight just because he has reach. And I think he's gonna. I don't think it's gonna be a boxing match, right? Like kangaroo, we're just gonna be fucking swinging. He's not going to grab me. I'm probably not going to grab him. We're just going to be fucking fist fighting. Orangutan Strat, I already know he's going to hug me. And then he's probably just going to try and fucking maybe get me in a headlock of sorts. I don't know if he's that smart, but I'm pretty sure orangutans are one of the smartest apes. <sighs> I'm going to go 20% chance just by the weight diff. I think I, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm going to kill it weight wise, but I think it has the smarts. It has the reach. Pretty slow animal though. I'm going to go 20%. I think I win 20%. For sure. Is that a deer or a buck? That's a buck. Fuck. I don't know. I, I, I've always thought that bucks are pretty weak. Like a 150 pound buck. I, I know that they have the horns. And if you get past the antlers, I think that I could just 
bludgeon this animal, right? I don't want to be gruesome here, but I think I could probably just jump on its back, snap all of its fucking weak ass legs, and then just beat it to death. Okay. I think if I'm in the mindset of I need to kill this thing, I'm taking out its fucking legs. I'm breaking its front two legs and it's going to be fucking face hugging the ground. And then I'm just going to fucking kill it. I think I'm going to lose a fraction of this time. I think the fractions of the time, I think the times that I lose is when it hits me with the antlers. I think if it hits me with the antlers, it's going to impale my body and then I'm going to die. But I think that 75% of the time here against a mid-sized buck, I think I'm almost surely going to win. And now, chat, this isn't me saying that I'm not going to get injured. On uh, many of these fights, the 20% that I do win, I think I'm going to be borderline in a coma. I think I'm going to be walking out of that fight with one arm and, and my eyeball missing. But I think I'm living. I'm killing it before I die. A moose? Zero. I think people don't realize how big moose are or meese, whatever the fuck it is. If you look up like moose kim size comparison, they are fucking huge. They're bigger than most cars in almost every horse you've ever seen. Uh, and they also get agitated pretty quick. Like this is just a regular moose walking in like a parking lot. It's like if it stood up tall, it would be like, all the way near the top of the tree. It cowers over these fucking cars. And hitting a moose in a car, a little fun fact here, is also a death sentence. Because if you hit a deer, you usually run that fucker over or it hits your bumper. If you hit a moose in a car, you take out its legs and then its whole body falls into the windshield and you die. So moose kill a lot of people in Maine and other places where moose exist. Anyways, uh, if I'm fighting this thing, there's absolutely no strategy here. If I'm bare fist, there's no damage that I that is being done. Uh, I think I'm going to immediately die. Question. Can we add something here to where if I'm in their habitat, am I able, like, say right when the bell rings, am I allowed to grab, like, a rock? Like, say I'm fighting, like, a moose and I find a stone. Am I able as a human to say, I'm going to use my surroundings to fight this thing? I, I don't think it's changing any of the answers as of right now. Anyways, a sloth, I fucking, I chat, I kill a sloth with ease. It would be five fucking seconds and that thing would be dead. Not only because it's slow, it's also weak. It's just, it's going to slow-mo claw you. It's, it, have I seen their claws? I don't give a shit. That motherfucker, ding, ding, ding. And then I grab its arm and I go. And it's done. What the fuck is this crab? A spider crab? Oh. They're, they're very, very large crabs. Uh, I, I just think they're so, like, not, I, I, like, I think if I kicked its legs, they would fall off. Where am I fighting this thing? Where are spider crab, where do spider crabs live? They live on the sea floor. And I'm fighting it in its habitat. Am I, I'm assuming I'm allowed, like, scuba gear, so I don't suffocate. Like, this is unfair if I'm fighting something at the bottom of the sea floor. No, no mask, nothing, because I'm just going to drown. So I have oxygen. I have oxygen, but I can, I'm not using any of the oxygen or like a tank to help fight. I'm just on the bottom of the ocean floor fighting this fucking thing. I still think I murder it. I know it's big and I know it has claws, but you got to keep in mind that it's like it, if it lunges at me, I'm going to grab two of its. Ooh, but it's going to ha has multiple claws. I'm only going to be able to take two claws on at once. I don't think I'm going to win every fight. Because I think there are scenarios where, like, I grab its two big claws and then it kind of impales me with its other ones that are, like, sharp. I think I'm going to be a bit more nervous in the water. I'm going to move slower. I think that I have a 75% chance. An eagle is dead. An eagle's, eagle's, got a, eagle's got a chance. An eagle's got... No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm going to kill it. It's a bird. It has weak wings. While it might peck me and claw me or rip my eyes out... I grab its wing one time and it fucking rips it off. I'm going to murder that thing. Bo Bird's bones are brittle. They're weak. I don't give a fuck, chat. I know an eagle is... It's not. It's dead. It's dead. A bald eagle weighs 14 pounds. Chats. Chats. Chats.
Get fat through your fucking head, okay? You're saying do 20%, bitch. It weighs 14 fucking pounds. That is a toddler. I don't care what its wingspan is. Grab its wings. Rip. It's gone. It's gone. I punch it one time. It can fly. I don't give a fuck. It's going to have to come down and fight me. And hey, I'm in its habitat. Guess what I'm going to be doing? Rock, snipe, snipe, snipe. Once I see it dive bombing me, I chuck a rock up and it fucking hits it in the face. It passes out. I snipe that bitch out of the air. Zero percent chance that eagle has on me. None. It has sharp claws. It weighs 14 pounds. Is that a jaguar or a puma or a cheetah? I don't know. I think that's a jaguar or a leopard. Oh my God. I don't know. They're, they're too similar for me. Either way, it doesn't matter. I don't need, I don't even need, I don't even need to know what animal that is. I know it's some weird version of a big cat. I'm dead. That thing literally could hunt people. Same thing here. No, there's actually not even a need for me to talk about them. It's that quick that I'm dying. A tiger is going to immediately claw me to death, bite me. It's going to bite my jugular. It's going to start eating me while I'm still living. Lion, same thing. It's done. Okay. Now we are in to a serious conversation. A wolf. One wolf. Not two. Not a pack. Okay. I have a friend that genuinely believes that he could kill two wolves with his bare hands. He's a psychopath. They're going to kill you. Okay. But one wolf it's it. Now here's the thing. Wolves are pack animals, or I don't know if that's, that's not a coyote. I think that's a wolf. Wolves are pack animals. They fight together, right? They're scared of not fighting together. We're eliminating that. If this is a real life scenario and there's one wolf in me, it's going to run away. It's not going to fight me, right? It might try and bite me. The second I punch it, it's going to run. This wolf wants to kill me. It's willing to fight me to the death. How big is this wolf? That's what matters. The biggest male wolf weighs 100 pounds. So a very large dog. That's kind of scary looking at it compared to this woman that's sitting down. Because you, if I show this, oh my god. You guys are going to immediately say I'm not going to kill it. They're, they're very large. They're, they're, they don't weigh a lot. This is some guy holding a dead wolf. It's a very big dog. But look at it. This guy killed it, right? Paul Blart. Bert killed it right? He had a gun. I'm just saying a hundred pound wolf. And that's like, I'm used to, okay, here it is. Here's a better size comparison. What is that? That looks like a prehistoric wolf. That's a real wolf. 35 to 75 kilograms. This guy's probably, what is he? 170 centimeters or 180 centimeters, 180 centimeters. I really don't know. I think this is a 50-50. And I know a lot of you guys are saying I'm dying here, but it's basically me fighting a very big dog. And I know it has its mouth, but realistically, I think a strat... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, am I so angry that I don't feel pain? Because realistically, I could sacrifice my left arm. I could go out for the bait. It grabs my left arm, and I just start fucking wailing. If it, because I'm thinking it grabs my arm, it's going to go, it's going to do that thing that dogs do where they go, and they shake and it like rips your skin. That's going to hurt like a motherfucker. Like I, that, like, even if I'm hyped up on adrenaline, that's going to really hurt me. Like it's whether or not I think I could kill it. It's whether or not I die before it kills me. These, the big cats, I'm not able to kill, right? I think if you gave me... 10 seconds of an advantage on this wolf, I lock my legs around its body and my arms around its head, and I think I choke it to death, or I punch it to death. It's just whether or not I get into that scenario. I think I got a, I think I got a 50 or a 20% shot. I think high 20s. I think 100 fights, I kill it 20 times. A great white shark is going to immediately be a 0% chance. I don't even know what I would do. I think that's the lowest odds out of anything we've seen thus far, just because I'm in the water. A sea lion? I don't think that's a sea lion or a seal. I don't think that's a seal. Is that a seal? Oh, that's a sea lion. Sea lion versus seal. A sea lion. Do I have to fight it in the water? I feel like a sea lion's kind of, it's a mammal, but its habitat is the water. I know a few people that go scuba diving, and if you're around like a baby sea lion, they'll attack you, like the parents will attack you. Could I kill a sea lion? If I'm on land, no doubt. 
It's just slow, got no mobility, looking like a goddamn hot dog. I'm gonna kill that thing. In the water, I'm dead. Am I fighting it on land or in the water? It's, it's made for the water. So I think I would have to fight it in the water. They're huge. How big are sea lions? 850 pounds. It's GG's. It's GG's. No chance. 850 pounds, bitch. I thought they'd be like 150. Is that a uh, Komodo? Not a Komodo. Is that a Komodo dragon? What is it called? I've seen videos of a Komodo dragon eat. I don't even know if I would show this on YouTube. I've seen videos of a Komodo dragon eat a medium-sized goat whole in one bite. Didn't even chew it. They have, they carry diseases. They're fast uh, and aggressive. I think it would swallow me. Uh, I think it would claw me and it really hurt and then it would swallow me. I don't know what this guy's doing standing next to this fucking thing. I think I would lose. I'm saying like, oh, there's a chance I could live long enough to do something. But if I live long enough to do something, I'm really not going to hurt it. Like a lot of these big reptiles, like crocodiles, they're just so hard that me bludgeoning it with whatever object I could find, like I would have to stab it. I'd have to stab it, and I don't know if it, in its habitat I'm going to find something sharp enough within 15 seconds in my general surroundings to murder it. No chance. Koalas do have chlamydia, but that's not going to kill me, and that would be post-fight. A koala, I think I'm going to kill the majority of the time, at least. Let me look up size of a koala. They weigh anywhere between 24. 9 to 33 pounds. Yeah, they're little dudes. Here's one. Here's one with former president Barack Obama holding a chlamydia koala. Maybe this one doesn't have chlamydia. We don't know. Not all of them do. Many koalas have chlamydia. I think I kill it 100% of the time. I wouldn't want to. I would feel pretty bad about it, but I'm going to kill it. I think that's a man array. Uh, that's killing me. It would sting me. Literally no discussion on that. A zebra. Now, this is an entertaining matchup. Me, Joe Bart versus a zebra in a Saharan death match. Very low stats on the zebra in terms of danger. I think his real method of fighting me is biting and kicking me. I think it does has a, it does have a size diff. A little stats on a zebra here. Between 770 and 950 pounds. Wow. How big are they compared to a human? All right, they're about the same size. You can ride a zebra. That's bad news. It's like between a, a, a pony and a horse. It's, it's the, the in-between between those two. They're going to kick me. Yeah. I was fairly confident until I realized... I thought they were smaller. I thought a zebra would be like maybe 400 pounds, and I think it would topple easy. I think this could just fucking kick me off of it if I got... I, realistically, I'm going to have to get on it and kill it. Nothing's going to be around me other than fucking dry grass. Maybe some water. I think that, I think 20% of the time, if I'm giving myself the camel in some regard, I have to give myself the zebra 20%. I think camel would actually be easier, even though it's bigger, just because he's got that long-ass curved neck. A hippo, I'm dead. Hippos kill more people than sharks. Don't hippos kill more people than any other animal? Hippos, uh, fuck people up. Panda. How much does a panda weigh? Two to three... Two to three feet tall, 250 pounds. Are they aggressive? It's on the same level as like a gorilla, like a weaker gorilla, like a more reasonable gorilla fight. But I think that pandas can be really mean and they're also fairly large. I think I'm going zero. It just has more capability. Like I know a lot of people are like, dude, you're really not going to give yourself the panda, but you're going to give you're going to give yourself the zebra 20% of the time. Yes. Just because the zebra doesn't have the ability to grab me. Whereas a panda could hurt me in that. Okay. What is that? I think that's a wildebeest or is that a buffalo or a bull? I think that's a bull, a bull and a cow. Both of those are zero. Uh, I've been around bulls and cows, and they can rush you, like, really fucking quickly. You would think that cows aren't fast. They fucking are. Or a bison or a buffalo. Either way, I'm both dead. Those two animals in the cow family are going to murder me just by sheer weight. You know, they weigh like a 1,000, 2,000 pounds. They're just going to fucking run me over. They're going to kill me. Is that a honey badger? It's the Tasmanian devil. The Tasmanian devil is a carnivorous marsupial. Where the hell do these things live? 
Uh, oh, Australia? Shocker. This thing's from fucking Australia. Tasmanian devil from Tasmania. Oh. That thing's dead. I Yeah, it might be able to crawl up my body. I'd fucking throw that fucker off so fast. I know it's carnivorous. It has a top speed of 8.5 miles an hour. Saw that shit on Google. Uh, I could outrun this fucker if I need a breather, and he weighs like 30 pounds. I'm killing him. Now, if it's the Looney Tunes Tasmanian devil, that's a different story, but this thing's dead. Uh, a walrus. I think a walrus recently drowned an aquarium keeper. Am I wrong? I think a, a walrus recently killed somebody. Yeah, in 2023, a walrus held two men tight and dragged them underwater and killed them. It also just has so much fat on it that I couldn't damage it. Killer whale's not even a fucking question. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. I've never even seen that. A dingo? That is not a hyena, chat. It's an extinct animal. File scene? It is an extinct animal. Why am I fighting this extinct animal? Oh, it was alive recently. There's like photos of it, but now they're all dead. It's just like, uh, like a tiny dog hyena hybrid. I'm killing it. Not even close. It's extinct. That's telling you something, chat. Am I right? That's a snow leopard. Ooh, GG's. Uh, I think that's a beluga whale. An elephant. <laughs> An ant. Okay, is it a colony of ants? I feel like I have to make that more, more interesting. Ant is zero. There's no shot an ant beats me. If there's like a colony of like a million ants and they start crawling on my body and like biting me. A chimp is an honest match. There are people who have gotten mauled by chimpanzees to the point where their face is unrecognizable. A one chimpanzee is estimated to have the equivalent strength of five average men. It was once said that an agitated chimp in Uganda's Kibal Forest once held a park ranger's arm so tightly that he broke his bones. I'm winning a lot less of these fights than I thought I would. They're just so tiny. You're, so you're telling me this thing has the strength of five men? Five average men. I think I'm stronger than the average man. I think, I would, I think I'm 1.5 times stronger than the average man. I think the average American, what, how much do you think an average American can bench? The average male, untrained, can bench 135 pounds. I can bench 260. So it's still got a strength diff by about two and a half. You know, no matter whatever way we look at this, even if I'm two times as strong as the average man, this thing is five times as strong as the average man, making it at least two and a half times stronger than me. I don't know. If it gets on me, I'm dead. If it, if it can really just squeeze somebody's arms that tight that it dies, they're basically, yeah, they're just muscle. It's not going to punch. It's going to grab me and bite me and eat me. Or not eat me, but like grab, bite, injure. It's going to break my bones. I'm dead. I'm dead. I wish I had the chance against the chimp here. Now, is there anything I could grab in this chimp's habitat that I could use against it? Like a stick. That's all I'm going to find. If I'm fighting a chimp in its habitat, I'm, all I'm getting is a stick here. And what am I going to do with that? It's going to swat it out of my hands and then fucking latch on to me. Uh, zero. Penguin, I'm... Ooh. Do I have to fight a penguin in the water? I'm fighting it in the cold. Not necessarily, actually, but I'm fighting it in the water. Penguins are are more recognizably prey. And if, I, if I'm fighting it in like a half and half, because I think penguins the majority of the time are out of the water. So I think this, this territory would be like half ice or half land, half water. I think I'm going to kill it. I, I think I'll give it, I'm going to give it 25% just in case it gets me in the water, but even if it's aggressive, they're pretty slow, and I know they're fast in the water, but that's really the only advantage it's going to have. I'm going to leave Penguin 25% chance of it winning. 75 me. Is that an emu? How big are emu? 5.7 feet tall, 1.75 meters. It looks frail. It looks fragile, chat. This is a very low quality image of an emu, but look at it. It looks very fragile. I think I kick that thing. 50-50? Fuck out of here. It weighs 121 pounds. Males weigh 121 pounds. I'd say 75. Just because it's shorter than me, and it, it just has... It's just... It's it's a smaller version of an ostrich. I'm not giving... A, I'm, I'm definitely above that. If I'm giving myself 20% on an ostrich, I'm at least giving myself 50%. A hyena, I think, is a 50% matchup. I think that is the epitome of I have a chance of beating this thing, but it also might kill me. But aren't hyenas pretty small? How big is a hyena? A, hy a, hy a hyena is the same size as a wolf. Fuck! What would, what, chat, what do you think scarier, a hyena or a wolf? 
Hyenas are also pack animals. Are hyenas or wolves stronger? Hyenas are larger, more powerful, stronger, and more intelligent than wolves. Fuck. Nah, I'm giving myself an ostrich and a wolf. I'm giving myself the hyena 20%. I'm giving it. I don't care. Is that a fucking pelican? What animal is this? It's some stupid bird. I'm killing it. It doesn't matter what it is. It's fucking dead. That's a wildebeest. I said my odds against a wildebeest were better than a zebra. Therefore, it's going in the 20% category. That is a dog. I think a dog is the epitome of a 50-50. I think that's the better. That's a better 50-50. I think that's a great Dane. I'm going to say this just categorizes large dog. Large dog category. If it's a fucking Great Dane, there's a good chance I die. I'm saying 50. I think that's fair. Bobcat? Mm. How big's a bobcat? I've seen videos of bobcats uh, try and run up on people, and it's pretty terrifying. I'm gonna go zero. I think, ooh, but I'm giving myself the wolf, man. I really am. I, like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm fucking this up right now. I'm giving myself the wolf or the hyena, but I'm not giving myself the bobcat. How big is a bobcat? 40 pounds. I'm killing it. What fucking thing am I thinking of that's bigger than a bobcat? Oh, this. A mountain lion. Oh, a bobcat I'm murdering. On second thought, I'm gonna go 75% chance on the bobcat. We're gonna do the- we're gonna do the mountain lion or a cougar or whatever this is. That's a zero. This is just another dog. Or is that a wolf dog? 50 shot. That's a dingo. 50% chance on the dingo. Actually, 75 on the dingo. It looks small. An octopus? What type of octopus? I think if it's a big octopus, it's gonna suction cut me to death. I don't know, man. It really depends what octopus it is. I'm going 50%. I know they're really smart, but it's like, yeah, underwater, I think I could fucking just squeeze it. I think if I got a hold of its fucking stupid, weird, bulbish head, I'd just go... And I'd fucking wring it out. I'd fucking wring it like a like a wet washcloth, dude. I'd fucking grab its stupid fat head that looks like Squidward, and I'd just fucking go. Meh, 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 meh. They have eight hearts. I'd fucking crush its skull if I got a uh, if I got my hands on that motherfucker. It's just whether or not he like wraps me down, right? I can feel like I feel like an octopus could put me in a straight jacket. I'd just be like fucking sitting there, you know? Is that a spider? Dead. Is that an armadillo? Dead. They don't have bones. I don't give a fuck that they don't have bones, chat. I'm gonna fucking smush its brain. Are you getting this? Oh, this is the poisonous octopus. I'm dead. I know that one. Eight ring octopus. It kills me. It kills me. I'm dead against that fucking thing. Snow fox, dead. Kitten, ugh, I wouldn't want to kill it. Dead. Pit bull. Okay, so we are doing dog classification here. Let's just do, let's just do broad dog and then we'll do pit bull. I think I have a better chance against a Great Dane than a Pit Bull. I think the mobility of a Great Dane is lower, even though it's larger, and he has a worse bite force. Pit Bulls were bred to kill each other. So, I think I'm going to go 20% of the- Yeah, 20% of the time, I think I'm going to kick it, and it's going to pass out. But uh, the other 20%, it bites my arm, breaks my right arm, and then it starts just fucking mauling me. That's a jellyfish. I'm assuming it's poisonous. Dead. That's a stupid bee. Killing it. I'm not allergic to bees. A squirrel? A hundred percent dead. I'm murdering that fucking thing. Alvin and the chipmunks? That might be a chipmunk. That'd be even easier. Actually, I feel like that'd be harder. You'd get around me. That's a lemur of sorts? What type of monkey is that? That's a baboon. Are baboons strong? They're less strong than humans who have trained and are in good physical condition. You ain't no chimp, pal. You ain't no chimp, buddy. Get in that fucking green bracket, buddy. I'm killing your dumb ass. It's over. They have big teeth. I don't give a fuck. It would freak me out. They always have, like, assholes that are, like, protruding. Is that a baboon? Whatever that monkey is, whenever they stand up and they have, like, a pink butt and it looks like their asshole prolapsed, it's disgusting. I fucking hate looking at those animals. Actually, I don't know if that would that would get this video demonetized. Editor, start looking up um, pictures of uh, the the monkey butt that I'm talking about, where it looks like a prolapsed anus. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, don't throw it on screen. No, don't throw it on screen. Actually, don't throw it on screen. Never mind. Instead, show a picture of George Lopez. He's a great guy. He's very he very he's very good to look at, and I I always have his uh his uh song stuck in my head. Leeches dead. A platypus. Platypi. Aren't they poisonous? Aren't they poisonous? I believe they're poisonous. But I think in this, I don't think it's going to immediately poison me. I think I'm still killing Perry. I think Perry the platypus is dead here. He's got like a duck bill and stupid fucking webbed fingers. 
I think I'm going to curb stomp him. That's a Black Widow spider. I, I'm still killing it. It's just whether or not I die after. So it's still dead. Uh, a turtle. A sea turtle. I really don't think they would put up a fight, right? I know sea turtles are big. But, like, what the fuck am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know about... I'll put a sea turtle at 75 just because I'm fighting it underwater. That's an antelope. Those are pretty small. I think I'm giving myself 75 there. Actually, I'm going to give myself 100 there. I know they're not, like, weak, but they're smaller than me. I'm killing it. It's not big. I've seen them in real life before. They're not big. A snake? I'm going to kill it, right? But I'm going to die after. Like, say it bites me. I think that's a fair... I think I'm going to throw it in 20. I think I'm killing it every time. I think I'm, I have to throw it in 20, though, because I'm going to die. If it bites me one time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die in this scenario, right? Because it's poisonous. It bites me, I just grab it, and now I fucking kill it. Like, I step on I throw it on the ground, I step on it. I fucking throw a rock at it. A mouse? GG's for that. Capybara. Yo, I love capybaras, but those things are 100% of the time dying. They are not built for survival. Bitch, that's just a big hamster. Goldfish dead. What the fuck is that? Is that man bear pig from South Park? I'm fucking GG's from that. I'm losing that 110 times. Those are barnacles? The fuck? How am I going to die to a barnacle? That is a hamster. No, that's a guinea pig. That thing's dead too. Ladybug, I wouldn't kill it. It's bad luck. I'll let it kill me. That's a boar. Dead. Snapping turtle. Hmm. Now we're into an interesting territory. I don't think... I think a snapping turtle... Am I going to see it? Do I have to fight it in murky water? Snapping turtles bite can bite through your bone. Their bite force is so strong that they can, like, bite your arm in half. If I'm fighting it in murky water, it's definitely going to gravely injure me. It's just whether or not I pick it up and then fucking hurt it. But even if I do pick it up, he's just going to huddle in his fucking thing until I, until, until I leave. And then he's going to come back out and kill me. I'm dead. I think 20% of the time I get lucky and maybe I pick him up and then I just start jumping on his shell until I crush his brittle fucking body that's hiding in that fucking shell of his. That's a tree frog. It might be poisonous, but I'm killing it. That's a bat. Dead. Pig. Dead. A sun bear. What the fuck is a sun bear? Oh, sun bears are the bears that look like somebody wearing a mask and they're like really stupid. Like somebody hit him in the head with a mallet. They're probably pretty... They're still bears, though, right? I mean, that that I have to take into account. It can chop wood with its claws and shatter it with paw swipes or chew straight through wood. Okay, it is GG's for the sun bear. I am dead just like every other bear. Oh, the red panda. They're so tiny and they get jump scared. Now I gotta show a funny video of a red panda. And then you're like, oh, a little cute panda bear. And then he, and then he walks up. They're very skittish. Yeah, they, they kind of freak out. Looks like he almost had a fucking heart attack right there. Had no idea what to do. I'm killing it. I wouldn't want to kill it. I think I might wait until I starve to death as a means not to kill that animal. Oh, God. They can't do me like this. These are the, some of the animals that I don't want to kill. Red panda, dead. Otter, dead. Wouldn't want to kill it, though. Goose? Oh. Oh, when I tell you. Put me up against a fucking... How about this? This is the goose and swan category. If you put me against a stupid fucking swan, I would walk up. I would hear him, wah, wah, wah. He would walk up to me. I would just fucking grab his neck and just fucking toss his dumb ass. You ever see the videos of when fucking swans try and bother people and like an old man walks up and just grabs it by the neck and throws it? He like starts harassing this guy and he's like big dogging him. Some old ass video. Look at it. He just grabs that fucker. Look at him. Stupid ass animal. I have no idea how it's alive. Yeah, I'm killing that thing. Give me a 10 second fight. GG's. What is that? Is that a, a python? Is that one of those like 10 foot snakes? I don't think I would be able to kill a python. Or a boa constrictor rather. Do you think that like Brian Shaw could kill a boa constrictor? World's strongest man. Also very big. Brian, Brian Shaw is like seven feet tall and 400 pounds. I don't think, I don't know how, how much the boa constrictor has range wise to wrap around him. And I think he's just going to go uh, and just fucking like, just open that motherfucker up. I think Brian Shaw could kill a boa constrictor. 
I don't think I could. I think I'm dead a million times. I think it's gonna wrap around me. It's gonna just strength death me. That's a mosquito. Does it have malaria? No. Dead. And it wouldn't kill me that quick. Blue whale? That's not even... Oh, God. No. <laughs> Wrong one. Blue whale? I mean, it wouldn't want to kill me, but it would just run into me swimming, and I'd probably die of brute force. That's a toucan? What a random... What a random bird to add into this tier list. A fucking toucan. Seahorse? Yo, fun fact. Do you know that um clownfish can change their sex? So in finding Nemo when uh when the when Nemo's mom dies, the the dad Carl actually would become a woman and become the mother of Nemo. Seahorses are also the only animal where the male gets pregnant, but they can change their uh genitals. And they'll start, like, producing eggs and shit. So it's an inaccurate movie, Disney. Maybe get your fucking shit up, okay? Maybe, maybe why don't you consult some fucking animal marine biologist experts before you decide to make a fucking movie about clownfish, okay? Okay, executives? Dead. Dead. Don't even know what it is. It's cute, but it's dead. Dolphin. I'm dead. I'm pretty sure dolphins are, like, one of, if not the smartest animal outside of humans. I'm also fighting it in the water. It's over. That is a flying squirrel. GG's. That's a fucking praying mantis. GG's. What the fuck is that? This is a llama. I'm killing a llama. I think I'm killing a llama 75% of the time. I know they're big, but if I'm already killing a camel, I'm killing a fucking llama. Killing a camel 20%, I'm killing a llama 75 An alpaca? Doesn't matter. Some some animal that spits. All right. Well, that's the that's the confirmed list here, chat. W W tier list. I mean, you know, there's a lot of animals that I I lose to. Actually, more animals I lose to easily than I than I actually no more animals I beat easily than I lose. So I'm gonna take that as a win. I think it's uh fairly you know obviously hundred percent of the time and zero percent of the time not as interesting as some of the lucky contenders here. I really do think I have a chance to get an o against an ostrich, a hyena, a kangaroo. Maybe not a hyena. Do we want to change anything around here? You're losing to a ladybug? I said I wouldn't want to kill a ladybug. I'm going to kill the ladybug. We'll move him down. The eagle? Chat. Chat. I'm not dying to... I'm going to Google if eagles have ever killed people. While, while it did kill a child, it didn't kill a full-grown human. They're known to kill... Big birds like that are known to kill, like, infants. I really don't think it would kill me, chat. Well, that's the list. W fucking, W fucking tier list. Hope y'all enjoyed watching that segment. Um...